Okay, I'm gonna dedi- I am gonna play this song because Thanksgiving is the time of year that I often think of my grandfather, Murray Moish Schwartzman. The man gets applause and he's been dead for how many years? I love that. Uh, uh, and uh, yeah, Thanksgiving was the. He and my. Who did he fight for the tuchas? Nobody. Oh, he got the tuchas. Tuchas means ass for the non Jews there. The, the turkey tuchas was like. I don't know if that is the most tender part or if it was just decided by somebody, you know, 100 years ago that that was the most tender part. So and he always got the ass, the, the turkey. Why would you want to eat an ass? Anyway, uh, come on. Don't answer that, some of you. Oh, good. Anyway. <laughs> Boy, did that hang in the air. There was a strange silence right there. So people going, well. <laughs> so Murray was out walking his dog one day. He was 79 years old. He was Queens, New York. Flushing, to be exact. Flushing it kind of plays into the whole turkey tuchus. <laughs> anyway. Uh, and he sees his next door neighbor who uh, has parked his car for my grandfather's driveway kind of routinely. And just obviously you don't do that. My grandfather says, hey, don't park your car for my driveway. And the guy says, calls him a moron. He calls my grandfather a moron. My grandfather says, by the way, the, the next door neighbor is 30 years old. All right, so now we get it. And the grandfather says, if you call me a moron one more time, I'm going to belt you one. Because that's the kind of guy that Moish was. And the guy comes to my grandfather, who drops his dog leash, punches the 30-year-old guy right in the face, picks the dog leash back up, and walks back into the house. <laughs> he says to Grandma, I belted him one. And she was reported to say, Oy vey. <laughs> Next day, there's a knock at the door. Next door neighbor, police officer. Moish the kid. Moish is being taken to a court for assault. Moish prepares very carefully for the court date. He stops shaving two weeks before the court date. He goes down to the basement and gets his shittiest, raggediest clothes. Puts them on. He doesn't shower that day. He doesn't wear a hat. He gets a cane out of the closet, which he hasn't used since he broke his leg 20 years ago. Puts on the shitty clothing, all haggard, and he hobbles into the courtroom. And the, the mediator looks at my grandfather, and he looks at the 30-year-old Italian guy who's now wearing a very nice suit. And he looks at my grandfather, and he looks at the Italian guy, and he because re- he thinks he's confused the plaintiff and the defendant, right? And he says, thanks, Grandpa, you're finished. You can wait outside. You! Brings the guy into his chamber, reams his ass out for half an hour. The guy comes out and looks at my grandfather, and he says, and I called you a moron. <laughs> so, this happened. Murray Moish Schwartzman. Change his name to Schwartz for reasons that no Jew can ever figure out. It's like, he took off the feather cap, but he laid on, left on the lederhosen. I presented this song to Moish on his 60th wedding anniversary. Not long ago, on one fine day in Flushing, Queens, the month was May, a day with more than normal count of smog. The word went out to stay inside from Tel Aviv to Telluride, because Moish the kid was leashing up his dog. <laughs> well, he's a quiet man who loves his mutts. He loves them so he drives them nuts. He's caring and he's giving to a fault. Just watch out where you park your car You just might end up at the bar And laying down a lawsuit for assault Well, oy vey, and yip And you might say his hair is gray But I'm telling you, he's got shtetl dust in his blood <laughs> Ask the Jew next to you <laughs> Well, Baruch Hu, and yip I'm telling you, he's an ornery Jew Who knocks him flat and chucks himself a bud well, on that day he hit the drive, he saw his eyes just come alive, his jaw about nearly almost hit the floor. Cause he could tell just by the tread, sides of green, top of red, this stagecoach was a Chevy from next door. Well, he sidled over to the guy, and they let out with a pitted sign and punched him, till the joke was walking blind. 
in as fertile fertilizers, flowers, mechanics had to work for hours. He's just one punch and his wheels were misaligned. Well, hoy, for any McCurry and the USA Hurry. I always turn to Elvis in this part of the song. I get bored by choruses. You know, Elvis is part Jewish. He was. Elvis is one eighth Jewish. Actually, you didn't know that, did you? Bad Jew! Bad Jew! You have to know who your peeps are! That's why I was always doing this. He was half circumcised. Like, whoa, now I see it, now you don't. Well, Baruch Hu and the Yippakai, I'm telling you, you know what I do. I'm going to flag and jump. Dick joke number 14. Well, more the kid just tired there with his neighbor in intensive care as a 747 crossed the moon. Stops saving a midnight smog and he whistled out to his trusted dog and he stepped back into his very own saloon. Well, if you want to try your hand to be the baddest in the land, don't say I didn't warn you because I did. And remember, please, that fateful day when that sorry soul got towed away for parking in the path of Moish the Kid. Everybody, well, oh, everybody, up and over and over and you might say, Y'all have no life. <laughs> well, borrow when you have a guy who I'm telling you, he's an orange Jew, knock him flat and tuck him tail. Wow. Wow. Moist the earworm. <laughs> <laughs>